Welcome. This video provides an overview of how to cite periodicals in APA style. The video is to help you with the basics and address common questions of citing in APA style, 6th edition with a focus on periodicals such as journals, magazines, and newspapers. This is a self-guided video designed to help you select video sections as you need the information. Please note that not all of the information presented in the video will be narrated. If you still have questions, Check with your instructor before you proceed with your writing assignment. Let's do a refresher. A periodical is a publication that is published multiple times throughout the year. Periodicals are journals, magazines, newspapers, and newsletters. When we search databases to find articles, the good news is that there are citation tools to help with citing sources. The bad news is that these tools are not perfect, although there might be problems with citation tools. It is worthwhile to use them to store and organize citations. For example, we can use the citation tool on the record of the article. In this example, the reference is cited incorrectly. This example showed that even when we use tools, it is necessary to revise citations. Try to include citations that are accurate as much as possible. There are many benefits for citing sources correctly. Always cite sources when representing ideas, opinions, or works of someone else, including paraphrasing summarizing, quoting, or providing other data. APA stands for American Psychological Association. The APA citation style refers to the rules and conventions developed by the APA for documenting sources. APA style, 6th edition, is used in formatting citations. Citations are the publication information necessary to identify and locate publications. References usually contain the complete citation information. APA citations are typically present in two places, as in-text citations, and as references. Citations within the body of a paper are called in-text citations. Citations that are present in the references page are called references. The general citation of a journal article consists of the author's last name and initials followed by the publication year, the article title, the journal title the volume, and if available, the issue number. After the page numbers, the DOI number is included for online publications, when available. In comparison to the in-text citation, the reference in APA style contains the full citation information. The in-text citation contains the author's last name followed by initials of first and middle names. When citing journal articles in the references page, italicize the title of the journal and the volume number. For the article title, capitalize only the first word of the title, the first word after of a subtitle, and proper nouns. The digital object identifier or DOI is a long unique numeric code. The DOI is included at the end of a reference. If the DOI of an article is not provided, include the URL of the journal's homepage. Now that you have reviewed some guidelines, how well will you do in finding mistakes in a citation? Let's find out. We are going to put some references in the next slides. Your job is to figure out if there is anything wrong and how to fix it. Here is the first reference. The reference appears correct but the problem is that there are two URLs. One URL is the DOI number and the other is a URL from a proprietary database. Remove the URL from a database. APA recommends using the DOI number. In the next reference, one mistake is not capitalizing the first word in the subtitle, uncovering. Another mistake is not including the words, retrieved from before the URL of the document. In the revised reference, we capitalize the first word of the subtitle, which is after a colon. As APA recommends, when the DOI is not available, we provided the URL of the periodical's homepage preceded by the words, retrieved from. For journal supplements, Provide the supplement number in parentheses after the volume number. Another type of article is a letter to the editor. Use brackets to enclose the terms, letter to the editor. For both, magazines and newspapers, at minimum, provide the year and month. A citation for a trade or professional magazine can include the year and month followed by the article title, the magazine title, volume and issue. The DOI number is added, when available. A citation for a newspaper can include the year, month, and date followed by the article title. Then, the newspaper title and the URL of the newspaper's homepage, with a few exceptions. Make sure that every source cited in the text is also cited in the references page. 
for groups, spell out the name of the group in the first in-text citation. Then, use the acronym in later citations. When quoting fewer than 40 words in the text, use quotation marks and provide the page number. Remember that in-text citations should match the references on the references page. One exception is personal communications, which are cited in the text only. Remember the differences in placement and order of citations in the text and in the references page. A PA has recommendations to help us when there is missing citation information. What is unique about citing periodicals is that these publications have two titles. The article title and the periodical title. For journal articles, italicize the periodical title and the volume and whenever possible include the DOI number. For journals, the retrieval date is not necessary. Check out the APA manual. Congratulations for completing this video. To receive a certificate of completion, print the certificate or the video slide. Remember to write your name and the date before submitting it to your professor. For further information, stay in touch at www.newacron.edges libraries.